In this video, we'll look into computer networks. Computer network. Computer network is two or more computing devices connected, sharing resources among them. The various kinds of nodes, alias hosts, in the computer network can be router, hub, modem, servers, computers, mobile phones, printers, etc. The network can be wide or wireless. Advantages of computer network Reduction of cost due to sharing of resources Scalability can be achieved A network is more reliable than depending on a single source Information is easily accessible Types of networks Types of networks based on area Personal area network PAN Connects personal use devices within a range of about 30 feet it can be wide or wireless. Example is mobile phone connected to television. Local area network LAN connects devices within a range of about 1 km. The connections are wireless or wired by cables, fiber, optics, etc. Data transfer rate is fast. It is secure. Metropolitan area network MAN connects devices within a range of about 40 km. Multiple LANs can also be connected to form a MAN. Data transfer rate is fast but is slower than LAN. Wide Area Network WAN Connects devices across countries or continents. Many LANs and MANs can be connected to form a WAN. Internet is an example of WAN. Network Topologies Network Topology it is the way the components are arranged in the network. Types of topology Bus topology Ring topology Star topology Mesh topology Tree topology Bus topology All the devices are connected to a single communication line So there will be a single communication line This is the bus And all the devices are connected to that single communication line So this is the bus topology any of the nodes can receive data. It is cheaper and easy to maintain. Ring topology. Each node is connected to two other nodes forming ring shape. So each node will be connected to two other nodes forming a ring shape. Data will travel through all the nodes between source and destination. Data can be transmitted in one direction. If one node fails, the whole ring fails. Star topology. All hosts are connected to a central node. The central node fails, whole network fails. So this is the central node. All the nodes are connected to the central node in a star topology. The central node can broadcast to all the nodes or to a single node. Mesh topology. So in mesh topology, there are two types of mesh topologies, full mesh topology and partial mesh topology. In full mesh topology, each node is connected to every other node. So this is a full mesh topology. Here each node is connected to every other node. In partial mesh topology, not all nodes are interconnected. Because this node and this node are not connected. In a partial mesh topology, not all nodes are interconnected. Tree topology. In tree topology, all the nodes are connected to a root node forming a tree structure or a hierarchy. So this is the root node and all the nodes are connected to that root node. It is also called a star bus topology. And it is easy to maintain and find errors. Network devices. Routers. Routers transmit data to different networks. They have the information of which networks are connected to them. The router analyzes the data packet received and transmits it to the destination. The routing table helps in providing the route from source to destination. Router can be wide or wireless. Modems Modulator, demodulator. The modem that is sending data 
converts the digital data to analog signals and it is called modulator. The modem that is receiving data converts the analog signals to digital data and it is called the demodulator. The next network device is repeater. Repeater regenerates the signal received and reduces noise. Repeater helps the signal to cover longer distances. Hub Hub connects multiple network devices, sends data packets to all devices. Collision happens when two devices send a packet at the same time. It can be used with digital and analog data if config configured. Gateway It is used to communicate between different networks which may even have different protocols. It maintains the paths of networks which helps in routing the traffic. It works at any layer in OSI. Bridge Bridge connects multiple network segments, example connecting LANs that is local area networks. It is at the data link layer in OSI model. It has single input and single output. It looks at MAC addresses of source and destination and sends data accordingly. Switch It connects multiple hosts. It uses MAC addresses and sends data to the port connected to the device. It can send multiple packets at the same time. It does not send noisy or corrupted signal. Now let us look at Ethernet card and RJ45. Ethernet card or network, network interface card. It is a network adapter that is on motherboard of computer. The computer is connected to the network through network interface card with the help of an Ethernet cable. The MAC address of network interface card helps in identifying computer on network. RJ45 registered jack 45. It is a network interface which is at the end of all network cables. It has 8 pins. Used mostly in Ethernet cables. History of networking. Late 1960s, the first connected computer network, Advanced Research Projects Agency Network, ARPANET, came into existence. 1969, first message exchanged between University of California at Los Angeles, UCLA, and Stanford Research Institute, SRI. 1971, first email sent by Ray Tomlinson. 1973, Ethernet developed by Robert Metcalf. Also, the first international network connection, SATNET, deployed by ARPA, Advanced Research Projects Agency. 1974, Telnet initiated and also Internet Name Award. 1976, first true IP router developed by Guinea Strategy 1978, TCP IP invented by Bob Korn. 1981, Internet Protocol IPv4 was defined. 1983, TCP IP started and domain name system started. 1986, NSF Net, National Science Foundation Network started and BitNet 2 started to address bandwidth issues. 1990, first network switch introduced. 1996, Internet Protocol IPv6 introduced. 1997, 802.11 standard for Wi-Fi introduced. 1999, WEP Encryption Protocol for Wi-Fi introduced. 2003, WPA and WPA2 encryption protocol was introduced. 2018, WPA3 encryption introduced. Now let us look into MAC address and IP address. MAC is Media Access Control Address. It is a unique address assigned to Network Interface Controller, NIC. Assigned by manufacturer and therefore is permanent address. It is a 48-bit hexadecimal address, example 00 colon f6 colon f7 colon 00 colon ae colon 5c. The first three bytes are called organizationally unique identifier OUI. Internet protocol address. 
IP address. Identifies a device on the network. IP addresses are dynamic as nodes may get removed or added to the network. IPv6 address is 128 bit represented by 8 groups of hexadecimal numbers separated by columns. IPv4 address is 32 bit represented by 4 groups of decimal numbers separated by columns. Domain name system is a hierarchical naming system for resources, computers, etc. on internet. It is the system that identifies the resources on internet or internet protocol networks. The domain name can be mapped to the IP address of the resource. It has domain name server which converts the domain name to its corresponding IP address. The domain name server has a database of domain names and the corresponding IP addresses. Computer network models OSI model that is Open System Interconnection model. It has got seven layers. First one is the application layer. This is the top layer and is the interface to the user. It has protocols like HTTP, FTP, etc. for passing information. Example of application is browser. Presentation layer transforms the data received from application layer to the required format to send over network. For example, it may encrypt data, compress data or convert from ASCII to EBC DIC. Session layer. Session layer creates sessions alias communication channels between hosts. It opens the session to transfer data and closes session after completion. Next is transport layer. Transport layer deals with end-to-end -end issues between hosts. It is responsible for transporting the data between hosts. It may break the data packets to smaller packets if required. Network layer. Network layer performs routing of packets across the network in the best possible route. The IP addresses of sender and receiver are placed in header. Data link layer. Make sure the communication between more nodes is reliable by making transmission free of errors. Physical layer. Physical layer is responsible for physical connection between nodes. Transmits bits, zeros and ones. It is the lowest layer of OSI model. Next model is Internet model TCP IP. It has got floor layers. The top layer is application layer. Application layer is the topmost layer that is responsible for handling protocols like HTTP, FTP, etc. Transport layer. Transport layer is responsible for end-to-end -end delivery of data. This layer defines the flow of data. Transmission control protocol TCP and user datagram protocol UDP are used. Internet layer defines routing and addressing. IP, ARP and ICMP protocols are used. Network access layer. It is the lowest layer. It deals with hardware and protocols to send data physically across the network.